before you go crazy in the comments, I'm aware that this is not how you stack a pickup brick cup. But see how easy that was? No fussing around trying to figure out how to maximize your parts or feeling frustrated trying to place a square block into a round container. My local Lego stores have finally made the switch to boxes for the pad wall. I have been waiting weeks for this. So consider this video my attempt at showing how much they can fit in and how superior they are to their predecessor. And I'll do my best to keep this video short while also covering several different dimensions and volume. I'm pretty certain that this is the most efficient way to go about this. But if you found a different method or reach a different number with your conclusion, let me know in the comments. One box can fit a stack of 19 one by two bricks. This can go five rows deep and seven stacks high. Since there's going to be some space left over, you can lay stacks of these same 19 bricks on the side and add another three stacks there for a total of 722 one by two bricks. And if you extrapolate that out, that translates to 1,444 studs worth of bricks. And since one brick is three plates, that means we should be able to fit 4,332 studs worth of plates in a box. And while while I did not stack my plates this high at the store, you can make a 17 plate high stack of 11 by 23 and still have some space to go. This gives you a minimum of 4,301 worth of studs. And after all that, you'll still have room to fit in smaller pieces in some of the pockets of space in the box. If you are unfamiliar with pick a brick value, I spent just over $17 on this box. And my 722 masonry bricks at 14 cents a piece came out to just over $100. So it's definitely worth stacking if you have the time. Of course, round pieces do throw a wrench into the equation, but they weren't perfect with the cups either. I personally placed them as the final layer, but you could probably place them in the middle depending on how many you wanted. And while there are many different ways to stack a cup, ultimately I think the boxes are way more efficient. And on that note, I really need to start building. So let me know if you have other questions in the comments. And if not, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.